Have you ever opened your chat and found a perfect double top? And then you go straight, you sell it. And then after you come back, after a few hours, you find the market went against you. Guys, this is what I mean. This is the perfect double top, as you can see here. And then I will just write what we see. Today, I want to show you what everyone see. So you will see this is a perfect double top. Even you can write it here. Possible double top possible double top then what you do after you write possible double top you wait maybe the the red candle prints and immediately you enter sell so immediately you come here you enter sell after that candle closes and you are very right about your zones because you know where you want to target and now you wait so have you ever found yourself trading like this but unfortunately the market either stops you or it gives you a very big drawdown before even you realize that this market was continuing and not reversing hi guys in this video i want to show you how to trade continuation market something that many traders don't get it in their first one two years in trading they always want to trade against the market and if you want to succeed in this market Always trade with the trend. Always try to put your trades where the trade the trend is going or is moving. People have been taught to buy low and sell high because everyone thinks when the market drops, it's time to buy. And when the market is on an uptrend like this, it's time to sell. That is wrong teaching. What I want to teach you today is something that you can check to identify if the market can continue or it's time to reverse but in this case let's see if this person who saw a possible double top and they went immediately and sold this market what happened so after coming a few hours they found that they are in few profits the market had not even moved but they were not in negatives and then they came back again they found that still the market is not cooperating and now buyers have printed a green candle, meaning that sellers are no longer having momentum to push this market. Still, they are not thinking, wow, is this an indication? Is this a lot to tell me to cancel my trade and then maybe try to look for continuation, a continuation alert? Still, they will hold their sell because they believe this is a double top and the market will eventually come here. Then after they come back after a few hours, they find a very bullish momentum candle. It's either they have been stopped out or if they didn't use a stop loss, they are, they, they are in a massive drawdown. At this moment, if you had a stop loss, well, you have been stopped out. But if you don't have a stop loss, you can only close at that big loss or you wait the market to come back to you, which is very dangerous guys let me show you how you would have traded this market now let's assume you have found this market at that point or you have closed in the trade and now you have realized that the market doesn't want to sell many people will still make a mistake of coming again don't do this still they'll come back again and sell back that market again because they have been taught to sell at high and buy at low but i want to assure you don't sell that market don't buy that market try to understand the story of this market because if you buy immediately the market can retrace if you sell immediately the market can the, it can go in any direction it can go upward and with a very big momentum because as we have the big momentum candle it indicates that buyers are willing to push this market ahead so all we need to see is a, a, a market that we understand and an entry level guys in this video i want to show you how to enter trades on a continuation market so you will just wait pay attention on the up on the next candle if the candle and mind you i'm using four hour time frame so come back after four hours when you see a very green candle even if it's not momentum don't try to enter so all we are looking we, we want to see depletion of the momentum and sellers coming in play so again we find that momentum candle is uh, buyers are still in control don't enter and then now we get this small red candle now here is when we 
draw our zone so you have our first zone so this zone will ident will help us to identify when we can get in this trade and keep in mind there was a week that was left here so if at all the market you can just put a line like that if the, at all the market has not broken that line you cannot sell so you'll keep in mind the box is to help me to buy but the line can help me either to sell because maybe the reversal has happened so you you are not in one side you don't you don't want to do a continuation like you're predicting you are open for possibilities and you're like this market if it continues it breaks my box if it breaks this line yes maybe the market has reversed and i'll start looking for sell opportunity so let's see the next candle the next candle is is a a, a very small bearish candle and because we are being governed by this line we cannot sell that is one we cannot sell that market so even if they print red candles we are not selling even if they print blue candles green candles we are not buying until our zones are broken so we go to the next the candle the market has not broken that line and then now you can even bring the box to that line but i just wanted to show you the importance of that line so again you say if the market has not broken the box or the line you are not getting in so we continue to see the market now behaving in a very funny way that the buyers are now taking control and now this mostly happens to show you that this is a bullish engulfing candle and many people will enter at this moment and it's not right why we are being governed by this box so don't enter if the box has not been broken so again let's continue immediately the the sellers came in so you you'll continue adjusting with that week we want the market to break this box upward to buy downward to sell at this moment we don't know where the market is going so we continue to wait you can see how the market is reacting at this zone so imagine all these hours you have been saved to be outside the market rather being in a trade that you'll spend so many hours many hours get exhausted lack patient immediately you come out the market goes in your direction so you're being just saved not to do this the same mistake traders continue to do so let's continue seeing you can see if you had if you had seen this market when it was printing the market the price had lied to us that it was to break the box but it didn't manage still we are being saved by this box i call this box a a saving like it saves everyone the heck the headache of getting in a market that is in consolidation so let's continue so the market continued to buy but we are not getting in we are not getting in until the market breaks now the market breaks you can enter the market now we want to enter the market now we know that if this market starts to move it will move very very fast so you have been saved how many hours you have been saved how many hours not only hours you have been saved three days uh six three days 16 hours so you have been saved like four days not getting involved in that market so uh let me see if we enter this trade where is our next target if we enter this trade where is our next target you can see uh, the market had a very big move here so we will target this zone there's a zone that made this market to really push very hard so i will come and create a box so this is our first zone we are getting involved in if we mark if we enter that trade and the next zone of course you can see this drop our next zone is this market so i in this at this moment i'll just play the uh, the uh, the playback very fast so that you can see if it did what we wanted now you understand that to to trade a continuation market is very easy now let's let's put our long position now we are entering with that candle our stop loss is behind is below that box and then our first tp is of course here I'll just put a line for you not to forget our first tp is here and our second tp is immediately at that a touch of that box so that is our second tp so guys let's see together if if you start trading continuation market how it could be 
So let's play this together and see if this is something that you would want to incorporate in your trading. So the market touched our TP in just two candles and it is continuing to go up and we can see the market, uh, it, is, it is retesting that place. Why? Because there is a there is a, a zone there. We have a very strong zone. So you can do exactly the same thing we did. You can create a box and then wait for the market to, to break the box to re-enter a second trade. And then if it consolidate again, do a box and then to wait until the market uh, do that. And you can see it went directly to our TP. Too. So you could have got, you could have entered multiple trades. Here there was consolidation. Uh, let me uh, reduce the opacity. You can see here we had a consolidation. We, you could have drawn the box because I've shown you. You could have drawn the box. If this market broke, you enter a, a buy. And then maybe TP, you would have targeted the same place. And then now you can see our TP has been hit. Guys, this is a very easy way to trade continuation market. If you have liked this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And if you have not understood, keep rewinding this video until you get the concept. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.